All right, we're in the, what do we call this now? The compound, what kind of compound are we calling this? Uh, just how about Greg's Garage? No, that's Greg's Garage, that's generic. <laughs> Greg's Compound. <laughs> we're in Greg's Compound. Look at the two machines. He's a two machine guy <laughs> now. There's Greg, owner of the two machines. Well, he he gets to ride in both machines. So we don't know if he's like owner of them yet, but he'll get to ride in the green one. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> well, Wayne and Stink is along for the ride today, and I'm Rob. So what we're doing today is Greg's brand new machine, and we covered that in a previous video. Twenty three Yamaha R Max two seater. That's a really nice, really nice color scheme. We're trying to think of a name for it yet. He's got a couple ideas, but we're going to put accessories uh, on today. Hey, put some comments down there if you have name suggestions. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, we, I really like this color scheme. It was brand new, got it at Hillview Motorsports in Latrobe, PA. This is what he's upgrading from. Got a Wolverine X2850. It's it's for small people, so he rode that for a while. And <laughs> now it's for small people. He's got he's got this big machine now. Jesus. And the core four has all R Maxes. So with the new machine, you gotta have accessories. And so these are must have things. Today's video is where he's got to start on accessories. He's got a whole laundry list of stuff he's gonna buy, but uh he's got a few things we're gonna put on today and that's what we'll cover. Anything you want to say, Greg, before we get started? Well, just to add that with regard to accessories, you know, since we're spending my wife's money, these are must-have accessories. At least that's what I told her. These were must-have accessories. And that's based on experience. <laughs> She's not here. She went to breakfast with a buddy. So it, it, based on the experiences of the, of the other three that already have the R-Maxes, we decided... Uh, there are things that you just cannot live without on these R Maxes. Uh, obviously, your front windshield, rear windshield. Uh, we went to a Tin Cup, and I froze my nuts off without windshield. So you got to have windshields. Uh, I ordered the uh, Alpha windshields, not here yet. Uh, I got the Super ATV rear windshield to put on today. Um, the Mud busters. Mud busters. Yeah, we'll show you a perfect example of what he's talking about, the mud busters. So when you look up underneath here, there's cavities everywhere in these things. Up there. Up here. He's an important guy. You got a call. Important guy. Important guy. Sorry. Got to take a phone call. Business. <laughs> hey, uh, okay. Anyway. There's another cavity up in here, and I will tell you from personal experience, these things are terrible to try to clean the mud out of, and that's exactly where the mud goes. It's, uh, I got so in addition to that, we've got the extenders. The, the uh, fender flares. Fender flares or fender extenders, whatever you want to say. Uh, that takes it out about another three inches in, yep. in most spots. Otherwise, you end up with what Wayne experienced on his machine. And we'll show you a picture of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we got that to work on today. I'll try to get to it today. Are, are you done? Are, are you done being Mr. Popular? Okay, so I, I had to take the call because it's about hunting. We're getting ready for a hunting trip. So maybe that'll get on YouTube, who knows? Two of, the, two of the core four hunt, me and John. I hunt. I'm a two-legged hunter. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, so. Are we still recording? God. <laughs> what an important guy. Oh, yeah, that's good. That'll work. What we haven't covered is how Greg's going to get in and out of his machine. Where's yeah. that Where's that stool at? <laughs> I carry a green stool in the back of my truck. Wait till he puts that spring kit on. <laughs> <coughs> He's going to need rock climbing gear. Hey, I, I, uh... Oh, there you go. Now you can get in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so one thing that's nice is Super ATV comes with some great instructions, including color pictures.
Not a whole lot of reading, but a whole lot of pictures. Which is good for a group like ours. Which is excellent for a group like ours. <laughs> if we have to read, we're not reading it. Just give us pictures. <laughs> well, you heard how I ended up with this one. Yeah, because Kelly went with, with uh, Rob, and Rob gave her the gave her the what for. <laughs> if we're going to keep doing this... That was the easiest sales pitch I've ever had to do. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> I spent months on Greg, originally, to get that one. Months on wearing Kathy down so Wayne could get one. Well, even even that, though... One in 30 minutes with my wife and Kelly switching places. It was like the first 15, maybe 10 minutes. She's like, oh, yeah. And the topper was when... So Kelly, the whole, you know, Kelly's this professional and, you know, speaks real well. Even with our group, she doesn't, you know, she's not like a truck driver mouth when she's around us. She what are you saying about Kathy? She stays consistent. <laughs> yeah. So we stop for a break after about 15, 20 minutes of riding. Kelly gets out the whole time she's talking about, oh, this is much nicer than ours. This set spring kit's really nice. This is a lot more room in this machine. All kinds of good things. So I knew I had her soul. Kelly gets out. Greg stops, my wife gets out and goes, I ain't never riding that f***ing thing again. That's <laughs> where I had to edit that. Yeah. Just put a beep on that. Yeah, that's what I do. I just beep them. I think they're deer hair, man. No kidding. They're pretty thick. They ain't for me. I know that. Mine are curly. But they're white, though. Yeah, pubic hair. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they're not that curly. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, Rob? See if I can get this right this time. Did you end up using the mallet on that wing? I, I wasn't going to hit it with the mallet until we got all these tight. <coughs> Are these tight, Rob, or no? Oh, no? No, 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 no. No, they got the nylocks on them. But these we can tighten up now. Once this is all... Yeah, once this is all on there, we can start taking those numbers out. <coughs> all right, so let's pick this thing up and stand it out. Like so. Oh, that one moved again. Yep. Oh, Jesus. The whole thing was spent. Good thing. Okay. Ready, Alice? Yeah. Is that too much for you? Okay. okay. Now, it did say no tools. It said do the I know, I'm taking hand. it easy. Okay. That bulb seal, we gotta put that on there. Lay her down. Where's the brackets attached? Up here? No. Uh, these just, brackets right here? They just hang on the cage? Oh, it works. Yeah, so we, like that. we set it from the top down. And we got to put these in there too. Oh, okay. I don't know which is why the arrow is. What was the relevance of the arrow? Is what I so they didn't have to punch two holes in it? The arrows point down. They do. Did you read uh, the instructions already? I did not. I just looked at your old ones. Yeah. Let's go like that, Robbie. How do you know I had it right on the old one? It didn't come off. The, sh the rear windshield did not come off. What goes in that blank spot right there? Nothing. It's a vent. There, it's where it's where the rack goes. Oh, you yeah, didn't cut this, wow. to, or did I use the wrong one? No, you're fine. Oh, you used the wrong one. How come there's not arrows on these? I don't know. I really don't. There, well, oh, yeah, there wasn't. Hmm. Still a little too long, right? 
That's a word. Well, I think the arrows were on the top ones, man, weren't they? No. No? Uh -uh. Okay. That's a waste of manufacturing process. What's These that? are the same type of brackets. Why wouldn't you put arrows on both of them? Or not put arrows on either of them. There yeah, you know. why do you need that? See, my point is, why do you need the arrows at all? Probably some idiot called him and said, I can't get this to work. There's no holes on this side. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think you made something dummy proof, they go and build a better dummy. How are you done with that? I am. Let's put this sucker around. Should I save some Tighten of these her down. Steel? Let's get uh, you cut that off. I get to cut that off. Stink. What? Do you want the ratchet or do you want to put the windshield in? Uh, if you get the ratchet, you got to go inside. Uh, I'll help put it on. Okay. Because I don't want to screw anything up. Dude. I don't think you it. can screw it up. It's idiot proof. It's got arrows on it. <laughs> That's what I said. When you think you made something dummy proof, they go and build a better dummy. Case in point. <laughs> well, you're short. I'm taller than you. No, you're not. Hey, how come you made this end short? My end looks good over I'm here. not taller than him, apparently. Hey, my end looks good you're over still here. still shorter than me. I don't know how that ah. happened. Okay, and this end, look at it. Greg's it's just short over there. Shriveled. Yeah, the problem is, is that when we put them on, this it was switched around the other way. like downtown. Very nice. Good job, Lincoln. You want anything? You got anything to say? How easy was that? Not very easy. No. No. What was your responsibilities? Uh, holding that up, making sure it was in the. Don't forget, you put the foam on too. Yeah, I put the foam hey. on too. Hi, Lincoln. Hi. Lincoln, liar, liar, Lincoln. Shut up. <laughs> lawyer. Lawyer. There you go. That's it. Don't say anything. I'm just a lawyer. Why are you so jittery? I'm gonna get you. You beat me. So after having installed the Super ATV rear windshield, compare and contrast that to uh, having installed the spike windshield on your machines. Uh, well, the spike windshield all has, um, oh, what do you call it? Velcro straps instead of all these hardware. So like there's a hole in the windshield here and Velcro goes through. Same thing on that side. All this stuff is all Velcro. Um, so from that aspect, it was a lot less fighting with screws and things like that. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't know how much better this is going to hold. Because uh, it's got the rubberized uh, pipe clamps. Um, I do like the fact that it's sitting on these... Uh, metal brackets instead of having just Velcro but um, the one thing I did like better about the spike is uh, has a vent that you can open up here and this bottom piece is actually black plastic so if stuff rubs up against it it doesn't mar it or anything like that. Robbie? Same thing. I like that one except for from there down. I don't like that seam there. You gotta yeah. put that extra metal piece in on this one 
we didn't have to do that and the vent's nice in hot like when we're riding hot like when we were in in uh michigan you open the front vents on the windshield and the vent in the back and you get some airflow through there well look at the crack there i get some airflow through <laughs> there <laughs> no but that's i mean for the price yeah yeah when we when i bought my spike power sports it was pretty much within a dollar of the super atv one and i went with spike because it was a cleveland company and i really wanted that vent now the, the stiffener on mine up here mm -hmm. is plastic it's not metal like yours is I don't, so, look at, I don't know if mine's plastic or not mine's plastic i know that for sure oh it's clear plastic yeah, yeah. It's clear plastic no but that looks nice yeah that the whole thing looks nice i like <coughs> I mean, they do a good, Super ATV does a good job. Can't beat their prices. I mean, you save money. For you, save money, get some other accessory. There you go. So, next thing we're going to do is mud busters. Greg's opening the box right now. We'll show you what's inside the box. It's almost like Christmas. <laughs> so like we said earlier, this is to block off the firewall. That's it. Keeps keeps air out and it keeps the, the big thing is it keeps the mud out. Mud busters made in the USA, we hope. So it says but it's just pieces of uh, basically the polymer. And it, it's, it's all like a jigsaw pump. It's all cut to fit right in all the openings underneath the, the front of the machine. There's mud busters and the number. Must have. This is a must have accessory. I will agree because I don't have them yet. Oh, that's right. Wayne doesn't have them. Uh, John has them. Yeah, John. I have them. I put them on like Greg before, I, before like you're doing here, before I ever took the machine out to get any dirt on it. So I put mine in right away. Uh -huh. um, now the question is, have you looked in there to see how much mud's actually in there? Not behind there. I haven't looked. I haven't taken them off, but I know how much mud comes off the mud busters. <laughs> so they got directions for other things in here as well. Yeah. Their pockets. Mud Buster makes the pockets for the yep, for the doors. I thought about that too because I got so much crap. Inside. There's the firewall splash shield driver side. You know the other thing too. The nice thing about mud busters is I bought mine early on. And there was one piece that was missing out of it that, for whatever reason, when they made the kit, wasn't included. And it was real high up on the thing. And somebody must have said something to him about, hey, there's another area that's not covered. And I got an email said, we'll be sending you another piece. And there was no charge. They sent it to me with directions again to put that piece in. I think it might be that one or it was a small piece like that, I think. So, or is there another piece that goes in there after? There is another piece that goes in after. Okay. That black wire goes in front of it. See the black wire right this there? One? Yeah, that comes out. Yeah, there you go. Just like that. Okay. Slap that around the driver's or the steering column. You got to go up above the. It's taped right there, I think. Go up above that a little bit. Yeah. Put it. Put it now. Put the. No, it's got to go. Huh? Okay, keep going. There you go. And there's your rivets. Megan, I just have to go uh, peel all the little dots out of them. So this is what it looks like underneath the firewall now that we've installed the mud busters firewall protectors. Mud busters. Mud busters, yeah. Then yeah, that closed that all up. A lot easier to keep it clean now. Yeah, Kelly won't get cold when she's driving. 
She'll get cold, but that's all right. Hey, did you see the Yamaha heater? It's only four fifty nine. Is it? Yeah. I don't ride enough in the cold to pay four fifty nine. Me neither. I'll put more clothes on. <laughs> What's next? Ah, uh, the fender extenders. See the tag up right there. Is that? Trail armor. Trail armor. So, now you could, I could have got Mud Busters. Mud Busters makes a comparable uh, a fender extender. Why trail armor? Why did we go with trail armor on this one? Because I told you to. <laughs> <laughs> no, trail armor is trail armor's more heavy duty. The little thicker plastic. And you don't have to drill. Remember, John got the mud busters. Yes. We had to drill into some spots that we had trouble with one on his. He thought he had a screw on the one, right? Yeah. yeah. So the trail armor goes on pretty easy. And I bought trail armor because I bought skid plates for, that were trail armor. So I bought the whole thing together. Wayne, you took yours out, your machine out before you put the. Correct. Before you put your fender extenders on there? Yes. What happened? Um, I definitely regretted that almost instantaneously. E eating a little mud? No, no, we ate a lot of mud. <laughs> <laughs> I had just as much mud in the machine as there was on the outside of the machine. There was mud on the inside of the windshield. Right there. Is that up in there? Well, we could actually we can actually bring her back down now, though, right? Can we get all these ones? Yeah. Yeah, we could bring it back down. Yeah, be easier. We're working way too hard here. Watch yourself. Here we come. So look at that spring just compressing right out. Okay. And it's not even worn in yet. <clears throat> Mine's almost completely together. Keep coming. Oh, you, I don't know her. Use the hammer. Use the hammer. Okay, hang on. No, put the end of this hammer on the pin. Okay. Can't be smarter than the damn hoopy. Who's got the flashlight? Right there. What do you need now? I need to. Do we have them all in? I don't know. You're the one. One more. One more. <coughs> Push up on it. Oh, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? I didn't do anything. We just we got that pin in and we never closed it down all the way. You want it all the way down or not? He's probably gonna have to do the same thing with the hammer on this one, so Okay. Start closing her, buddy. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Okay, keep coming. You go in? Yep. Yep. <coughs> Can I take these back up? Looking nice. Where's those? Uh, Can I have that ratchet? Yes. So that's the finished product up front with the trail armor uh, fender extenders. What was the hardest part of that, uh, Rob? Uh, back end. Because of the tires. Had to jack it up, I would say. Yeah. These went on pretty easy. Yeah. Where you got to really be careful, follow the directions. 
in terms of that front screw because especially on this passenger side there appears to be a bolt that's running from the back end to the front end and if you're not careful that screw goes up and right in here underneath and if you're not careful you hit that bolt here give me the thing pull her outside this picture's over and done out in the daylight pull right on here sport mode in it yeah there's a lot of uh there's not much given that accelerator is there so we got the back windshield on yeah got the fender flares here's what the back looks like nice coverage outside the wheel keep the mud out of the cab there's the wheel right there go around the other side same thing different angle Outside the wheel keeps the mud out of you and the front's really nice how it's tapered There's the wheel right there, so it'll keep the mud out of the cab Looks real nice All the mud out of the underneath. I know you can't tell what we put in but that's all sealed now Whereas you can see the mud busters logo right there. That was unsealed. It was all empty cavity This side too Whole firewall is sealed in. Keep the mud out. Now, in terms of, in terms of must-have things, other than the front shield, front windshield, which we haven't got yet, those you got to get on before you take yes. it out of the trail. Yep, yep. It's easier to install when there's not mud all over and inside and on the everything. You don't have to do any cleaning. It's brand new. Never been on the trail yet, so stuff was easy to put in. Hardest part was we had to jack up the back end to get to be able to drill stuff because the tires. But once again, I'm pointing out them springs. Good to know. That's ride height. Well, I haven't been sitting in it yet. Yeah. You haven't put my fat ass in there yet. <laughs> And Greg was a threesome. You get a better deal. Got a good business.